Hello guys, Shubham Gupta here, back again with another video and today we will decrypt what all we have new in CHV12 and what CH is all about. So let me take you to the 20 modules that are being covered in the CEH here in the Crow. Not only in the Crow, but it is a global certification, right? So this is the module one and module one is all about introduction to ethical hacking in module one you will start with and you uh, you will start with information that provides you with an introduction to ethical hacking module one sets the foundation for the course because as a security and certified ethical hacker it is critical to know what you are set out to do before conducting any form of ethical hacking in module two you will learn about footprinting and reconnaissance. As a cyber professional, performing footprinting and reconnaissance helps you gather information about potential target. This includes passive and active reconnaissance, which are all critical and ensure you and ensure you and your organization does not become a target and susceptible to attacks like web spiders, such as web data extractors and parser perform, performed automated searches on the target website and collect specific information such as employee name and email addresses. Website mirroring is helpful for offline site browsing as it enables an attacker to spend more time and viewing and analyzing the website for vulnerabilities and loopholes. It helps in finding the directory structure and other valuable information from the mirrored copy without multiple requests to the web server. In module three, we will learn about scanning networks. In this module, we will learn about familiarization with different scanning tools. Knowing how the tool works and what information you can gather will reduce the amount of time you spend on the target while making less noise so you are not detected on a network or a target. You will also learn how to detect when someone is scanning your network as you become more familiar with the process. There are a number of tools that are available in the market. In CHV12 course, you will become very proficient not only with NMAP, but many other tools that are widely used in the industry. In module four, we will learn about enumeration. As a cyber professional, you need to become familiar with enumeration. Enumeration is just like collecting your names, machine names, network resources, shares, and services from web application, a system, or a network. An attacker creates an active connection with the system in the enumeration phase and send direct queries to, the, to gain more information about the target. Vulnerability analysis is critical to know or to determine where an attacker can tap into your network. The attacker can use the information collected to identify the vulnerabilities and system security, which helps them exploit the target system. System hacking is one of the, uh, what I should say that system hacking is one of the most important and, and sometimes the goal of an attacker. The attacker requires information through techniques such as footprinting, scanning, enumeration, and vulnerability analysis, and then uses this information to hack into the target system. In module seven, we will cover malware threats. So knowing the difference of Trojan, backdoors, viruses, and worms are essential. Understanding how they work, propagate, or spread on the internet is important to prevent data compromise or an attack being able to identify their symptoms and consequences is a part of malware analysis. Package sniffing is a process of monitoring and capturing all data packets passing through a given network using a software application or hardware device. This skill is quite essential to actively monitor an attack or an anomaly on your system. As a cyber professional, it is important to know different tactics hacker would use to get information from employees. Most threat take place internally somewhere unknowingly while others are intentional. Reducing human vulnerabilities is a way to help protect an organization's resources and assets. So let me come to the DOS. In social engineering, uh, I should say that 
we play with uh, human emotions like i uh, just told in the last statement in dos what happens is uh, let me tell you what is the full form of dos denial of service and the ddos is distribution distributed denial of service right in this type of attacks a hacker attempt to make a machine or network resource unavailable to his authorized users typically by overloading them or flooding them with traffic this is often a diversion but understanding how hackers use this technique is essential as a cyber professional you must be aware of session hijacking too this tactic allows attackers to take over an active session by by bypassing the authentication process hackers who successfully complete this are granted privileges that can be abused for their gain as a cybersecurity professional you will be ex expected to set up a cyber attack countermeasure and defenses hacker know in many cases how to evade these defenses so learning the tactic hacker used to bypass controls will prepare to you to validate those controls that are effectively deployed and extremely difficult to bypass right and uh ethical hackers will be taught the process of hacking web servers uh to learn the profile and trails left behind by hackers utilizing this technique while the sophistication of web application continue to grow so do their vulnerabilities misconfiguration and unintended consequences today business rely on web apps right for interactive experience while hackers rely on them for a gateway into the network learning common exploitation techniques prepare ethical hacker to analyze and protect these system from exploitation forms login fields and connected databases are like a playground for hacker if not protected properly these inputs fields are attack uh one second if not protected properly these input fields can be easily become a target for an hacker right and let me take you to the injection vulnerabilities like sql injection which is being taught here in sql injection what we will do is play with the database that is being connected with the website like for authentication if a user sends a credential on an input field what we can do is we can put an injection over there to bypass the authentication let me take you to the module 16 that is hacking wireless networks right so hackers know with physical proximity a poorly configured wireless network is an invitation to the network chda teaches the process of scanning hacking into the wireless network and learn to test for wrong access point weak encryption standards poor passwords and a variety of other challenges that expose any organization to breaches mobile devices smartphones and other mobile platform pose inherent risk to any of the organization they travel with users connecting to various other networks their security architecture typically not as strong as traditionally controlled machine making them a lucrative target for the attackers you will learn to test and implement controls to ensure mobile devices are not the weak link in your organization the majority of iot devices are still in their infancy stage where when it comes to the security from printers to projectors tvs to wifi cameras color changing lights bulbs and smart switches all communicate with tcp ip becoming tenants of the network they connect to ch teaches the method to test evaluate and secure iot devices so being an early adapter of new technologies doesn't mean you are more in secure so in module 19 we will cover about cloud computing learning 
to navigate the new architecture and risk they pose in essential to success as a cyber professional. From cloud to hybrid cloud, the attack surface has changed. Test and evaluation methods on the new attack surfaces are critical to ethical hacker. What was once behind the firewall is now prolific and vulnerable. In cryptography, we will learn about different cryptography algorithms, how today data is being encrypted, how the communication is coming, how communication take place, right? Uh, after uh, encrypting the data. And this is the end of the 20 modules that are being covered in the CH. Let me take you to the new updates that is being introduced under the subheadings of these modules, right? So, these are new technology updates, right? Here at first, you can see that these three of the topics are from the are in the subheadings of cloud computing. So uh, let me just tell you what is the fork computing? What is the edge computing and grid computing? So in grid computing, what we cover is, let me uh, take an example, or I should just give you some brief about this. Under cloud computing, you will come to know about Grid computing can be defined as a network of computer working together to perform a task that would rather be difficult that would rather be difficult for a single machine. All machines on the network work under the same protocol to act as virtual supercomputer. Right. So we will see how to protect them and how to attack them as well. In grid computing, uh, we will see. It is a subset of distributed computing where a virtual supercomputer uh, what I was talking about, uh, let me just take a second. Uh, I had just told you about grid computing. Let me tell you about what edge computing. Edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm that brings computation and data storage closer to source of the data. This is expected to improve response time and save bandwidth. It is an architecture rather than a specific technology, right? And let me just take you, what is the fork computing? Fork computing is a term coined by Cisco that refers to an extended cloud technology or extended cloud computing. It is also known as a uh, edge computing or foggy. It facilitates the operation of computing, storage, and network services between end devices and computing data centers. Right. So uh, now let me just tell you about what is persistent. As I told you, uh, or you might have know that there are five phases in the penetration testing. So in the fifth, uh, in the fourth phase, where we add backdoors to maintain the access into any of the system, there, this subheading, there, uh, CHV in CHV12, this subheading is in is newly added, right? And then we have evading NSC. So what is NSC and how it works? NSC, NSC is network access control. It is a solution to prevent unauthorized access to internal networks. It restricts access to the network based on identity or security postures of the device that is trying to connect. One of the uh, example that you can take is, an S, is SNMP, right? So we will see how to exploit these technologies right then 
in diamond model of intrusion analysis what we do is we illustrate well, i think uh i should say that it illustrates an adversary uses a capability over an infrastructure against a victim according to principle of this model for every intrusion an adversary move towards its goal by leveraging capabilities on infrastructure against victim right so and there is maitre attack framework in maitre attack framework uh you will not come to know about whole a lot of attacks but you surely will come to know about methodology that is used in these attacks so this these are these all are updates and let me uh so as you have seen through this video presentation this video presentation having a thorough understanding of each of these topic is critical to every organization in protecting the resources the cs certification program is undoubtedly the world's foremost ethical hacking program the ch is very lab intrusive program with tremendous focus on hands on element every module in this ch p12 certification course have hands on lab with over 220 labs conducting in our cyber range environment here at cro you will have the opportunity to practice every learning objective in the course on live machines and vulnerable targets you will gain unprecedented exposure to and hands on experience with the most common security tools latest vulnerabilities and widely used operating system in the market our range is web accessible allowing you to study and practice from anywhere with the connection also at pro the trainer maintain good knowledge to help you in your career are you ready to take the next step to cyber professional training and certification enroll in the chv12 program here at the pro thank you and have a nice journey in your career